This is section 4, in which we shall deal with the setting up of ladders. We shall deal firstly with lean-to ladders. The aim of setting up is to ensure that the ladder is securely placed and as steady as possible in order to reduce the risk of an accident. A very important consideration is that the ladder must be set up and supported upon a solid base. Whenever we encounter soft ground into which the rails can sink, then we must use a spreading device. A piece of sturdy timber or board can be used to create a solid base. This base must be as wide as possible in order to spread the load. Do not use bricks or stones to act as spreaders. This dangerous practice has led to many accidents. The setting up of lightweight ladders presents little problem. One simply carries it into position and then places it against the structure. However, not all ladders, and especially some extension ladders, are that light. The handling and setting up of such a ladder is not a one-person job. Note that you must never raise or set up or try to reposition an extended ladder or you will find things getting totally out of control. The first step is to get the ladder into a vertical position. Do this by setting the base against the structure. Now lift the top and raise the ladder until your arms are straight. Walk underneath raising the ladder with your hands on the rails. When the ladder is upright, move the feet back so that the ladder is leaning against the structure. From this position, an extension ladder may be extended and we shall look at this procedure after we have discussed the correct angle of lean. All lean-to ladders are only safe to be on if the angle that exists between the rail and the ground is between 70 and 75 degrees. When a ladder is placed at this angle, the combined mass of the ladder and a person on the ladder is acting to provide maximum friction, or grip, upon the ground, as well as offering sufficient balance to the person on the ladder. If the angle is set more than 75 degrees, then there is the risk of toppling backward. If set less than 70 degrees, then there are the risks of the feet slipping out, or of the ladder buckling even breaking. To illustrate how to set a ladder angle, we first lean it roughly against the structure, then count the number of rungs from the bottom to the point of contact. In this example, there are eight rungs. We then divide the number of rungs by four, which results in two. To determine the distance in centimeters that the ladder's feet must be placed out from the upper support point, we multiply the result by 30. So, in our example, we must set the feet 60 centimeters out from the support point, and this will result in an angle of lean of approximately 75 degrees. Obviously, the angle of lean with an extension ladder can only be set after the ladder has been extended to working height. Let's look at the process for the raising and lowering of extension ladders. In this first demonstration, we have a lightweight or commercial grade extension ladder with a push-up fly section. This type can be handled easily by one person. Raising the ladder by yourself involves walking it against the structure until it is upright and then setting it at an angle so that the fly section can be raised. The fly section is simply raised until there is at least a three-rung overlap past the upper support point. Ensure that the rung lock rests fully upon the main section. Finally, we set the angle of lean as previously explained. In this demonstration, we will require a spreader board as we have set up on soft ground. The heavier rope-operated ladders are generally a two- or even a three-man operation. In this demonstration, the ladder is to be set up against a pole. We therefore must make sure that the ladder is equipped with a pole rung. With the ladder in its collapsed state, the two workers raise it against the pole using the pole rung to guide it. 
At this time, the extension can be raised until the top support point is at the desired position. The rung locks must both engage a rung in order to secure the fly section. The ladder angle is then set to 75 degrees as earlier explained. There must be an overlap of sections when an extension ladder is extended to ensure the stability of the sections. The minimum distance that an overlap may be is 900 millimeters or three rungs. Details on overlaps are provided in your workbook. It is possible that you will have to set up an extendable ladder to an overhead beam. The foot of the ladder must be placed directly beneath the beam. With the help of an assistant, raise the ladder to a vertical position against the beam. Extend the ladder well beyond the beam to make sure that there will be at least three rungs past the beam when the angle of lean has been set. Mark the ground next to a foot and then set the angle of lean from this mark. The lowering of a rope operated extension ladder from an overhead beam must be done carefully. Begin by making sure that the ladder is brought to the vertical position and then supported either by yourself or by your assistant. Raise the fly section until the rung lock comes clear off the supporting rung. Now, keeping a firm control of the rope, lower the fly section smoothly. When the fly section is fully retracted, lower the ladder to the ground in the manner demonstrated. Ladders with push-up sections are lowered simply by raising the fly section until the rung lock can be released. The fly section is then lowered in the manner demonstrated. Always keep your hands clear of the rungs when lowering any extension ladder to avoid the possibility of pinching or trapping them. We'll look next at the setting up of step ladders. A step ladder is designed to be used only in its fully opened up position. Both spreaders must be in their locked position before it is safe to climb the steps. Step ladders are for use only on firm and level ground. Before climbing onto the steps, check for wobble or any kind of unsteadiness by standing on the bottom step and gently shaking or shifting your weight. There should be no floppiness or rocking from leg to leg. Never set up a step ladder or any other ladder upon a table or bench in order to gain extra height. This is a dangerous practice. Step ladders should never be used on soft ground as the legs generally tend to sink when weight is applied. In summary, in this section we have covered the basics of setting up both lean-to ladders and A-frame ladders. Of primary importance in this procedure is a solid base upon which the feet must rest.